particular presentation and I want to make uh, two brief comments in addition to what has been said before. One is that uh, you can see now that uh, this type of exercise uh, uh, is also very useful to make scientists think in a structured manner beyond their own areas of expertise or their own discipline of research. Yeah. So that is also a learning exercise uh, for us and it also, also I believe, uh, is an exercise that can stimulate more interdisciplinary thinking and also then also interdisciplinary work. Yeah. So, and the second comment I want to make is uh, by doing it the way Bas has shown, uh, we identify a lot of gaps in our knowledge too. Uh, where in addition to answering the question where should we invest in sort of uh, uh, research priorities uh, from a product point of view or from a dissemination point of view, we also get to know a lot more now in terms of what we don't know. Yeah. Or I think, I'm not sure if I remember the Donald Rumsfeld's, uh, Rumsfeld sentence, we, we know what we don't know, we don't know, no, no, something, he had something very complicated of that kind, yeah, so we, <laughs> the we, known the, the known unknowns and the unknown knowns and uh, this kind of, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, please, uh, some questions, uh, we'll start right there. I'm Ian Media. It's excellent to know that uh, to get better irrigation water management is possible to get 15 to 30 percent yields. But how about uh, the in situ rainwater harvesting and the efficient water use under the rainfed situation? Yeah. Um, <coughs> yes, I think there, there are many uh, solutions. I just showed one. And in, in our rainfed conditions, we, we also have a range of potential solutions, both in terms of, for example, drought-tolerant varieties, but also things of using the existing rainfall more efficiently. We haven't looked specifically for rice into the possible impact of rainwater harvesting, um, but it is definitely um, a proven technology, certainly for non-rice crops, and it may be something that we need to run through this process as well. Thank you very much for that one, that addition. Okay, David. Uh, in the, uh, wait, 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 wait. The poverty, uh, poverty market, uh, mapping exercise that was done for Bangladesh uh, five or ten years ago um, looked, at, looked at the impact of, of some of the technologies and also some of the constraints to rice production. And in, in particular, I think it focused on the instance of drought and, and submergence. And um, it found that um, in poor rural households, say for drought, um, the, first, the first year of drought had a, a certain uh, level of effect for which households had a compensatory mechanism. Um, and, uh, but if that was followed by a second year of drought, then that knocked households back to, uh, to a position where uh, they couldn't readily recover. Um, capital had been sold, children had been taken out of school, etc. Um, and sort of, you know, when we look at the costs and the, and the benefits, I mean, one thing you know, that we have sort of discussed is so how can we bring in some of these, some of these benefits to technologies in as much as you know, drought tolerance or tolerance to submergence could be captured in, in ways that are so much, sort of, um, uh, uh, so much uh, more reflective of the impact on, on given households. I mean, how could that sort of be built into this sort of exercise? Um, I will enlist the help of David, and maybe he will touch upon that in his next presentation. We are trying to capture other effects that don't directly feed into our calculation scheme. Here is just one example, and that's more environmental effects of a technology, like you free up water for other uses, there are effects on ecosystem services, methane emissions. For now, we, we park them and then try to quantify them as best as can and work it through the system. The particular um, issue of impacts on poverty alleviation, I think it's better to wait until David has given his presentation and then we come back to that, if, if that's okay with you, David. Because I, I think it will be addressed, so we can save some time. Other questions on this presentation? If that is not the case, then thank you again, Buzz, and we'll move on to the final presentation, uh, which will be given by David Wright, so, and it's uh, then...